afternoon. I'm Lieutenant General Todd Seminite, 54th Chief of Engineers, and we're on the road again. Today we're at the National Training Center here at Fort Irwin, California. And I've got some great engineer leaders with me. One of those key leaders is the head of our observer controller team, Sidewinder 07, Lieutenant Colonel Jeremy Chapman. Jeremy, you got about uh, you got a big, big operation here. You're really the one that coaches that BEV through. Tell our team a little bit about uh, what are we doing at NTC, what are some of the big objectives, and maybe some of the things you've learned in your time out here. Yes, sir, and uh, it's, it's a privilege to have you here, sir. Uh, welcome to the National Training Center at Fort Irwin, California, uh, the premier training site uh, for our brigade combat teams in the U.S. Army. Uh, today we're standing in the live fire corridor where we have the ability to maneuver a, a complete brigade combat team in live fire scenario with thousands of targets into a combined arms breach. Uh, I've been here training, they're on day 12 with a rugged team with the 14th BEB. They've been doing an outstanding job integrating both our reserve, National Guard, uh, and the active components into one uh, cohesive team to support the brigade combat team mission here to train and win uh, the, the first fight. And Jeremy, I know we do a force on force, but that live fire, I mean, this breach you did this morning, this is with real smoke, these are real micklicks, these are real bullets shooting real targets. I mean, this really tries to replicate combat to the best we can, right? Yes, sir. We have artillery, 155 smoke, we got HE, we have Apache helicopters coming in with Hellfire missiles, uh, the whole wow. nine yards. Sometimes we get the, uh, the cast with A-10 Warthogs. Uh, just busting it up out here, and uh, it is awesome. These soldiers, their eyes are this big when they see all that smoke and HE coming in and they hit the breach. So one of the things that in the last 15 years, you know, our Army's been doing an awful lot of operations in Iraq and Afghanistan, and the Army leadership really wants to be able to get back into decisive action to be able to do these more complex operations. Uh, with me is Joe O'Donnell, the company commander of A Company. And Joe, I don't think there's uh, any operation for uh, an engineer that's probably more complicated than uh, a breach like you did today. Can you tell the engineer family a little bit about where are we, what did you do this morning, and maybe some of the mechanics of how that breach went? I know you got your, your striker and the girl striker here. They weren't here this morning, but kind of walk us through how that breach went. Absolutely, sir. So we received our intelligence from the task force scouts, and using that we were able to set our breach organization. We set our dozers out first, which punched through that firm. So this firm was all all built here. There was no hole in it. Entirely continuous. Meanwhile, my first sapper platoon was serving as a support force and local support by fire. They would have been online with about where we stand. And then we moved our second sapper platoon with its Miklakes forward. They would have moved right up to the point of the firm and they shot their Miklik all the way down to where you see the end of the orange flags down there, sir, and took out the wire. Wow. Now you have another element doing a second lane off to our right, is that right? Absolutely, sir. 800 meters north of this location, we had a second uh, two platoon group doing another breach simultaneously. That's Again, one. live Miklik, live smoke, everything full up, right? Absolutely, sir. Wow. And I tell you, the other guy who's in charge of this whole thing in the 14th Battalion is uh, Sean Patrick. Sean, you've been in command about 15 months. I understand that about 19 years ago, you were a lieutenant out at NTC. Um, tell us a little bit more about maybe some of the other missions the battalion's doing, and if there were a couple points that you'd want the regiment to know about what we're doing at NTC these days and what your, your battalion experience, what would be some of those thoughts? Absolutely, sir. First off, uh, as, as a lieutenant 19 years ago, this, this environment looks exactly as it did. Uh, but what I will tell you, though, is, is the conditions in which that we operate today are far, far more advanced than they ever were when I was here as a lieutenant. Um, I uh, represent the 14th Engineer Battalion. It is a multi-compo organization. We have reservists, National Guard, and active duty, which also includes uh, force structure in the active duty that is uh, as far east as the 19th Engineer Battalion. Um, what, what we have also uh, realized here is that the training environment provides us with an opportunity to have an integration of many, many different uh, enablers. You, Zero 07 had already spoken of having CAS. Uh, we also have not just engineers, uh, we have uh, military intelligence, we have signaliers, we have SIGINT collectors. All of those folks are out here producing a picture for the brigade commander to understand the fight so he can see, he can decide, and then he can implement. Wow. Well, that's great, Sean. You know, and, and really the heart of our, our fighting force is the brigade combat team, and the heart of the engineer element in that brigade combat team is your battalion, the BEB. And as we have said in the regiment a long time, 
uh, you're either in a BEB or you're going to be supporting a BEB. So if you're in an echelon above a BEB, an EAB battalion, then you have to learn how to plug back in to an element like Colonel Patrick's and to be able to be one team on the, on the ground out here working side by side. Uh, I can't tell you how impressed I am by both what NTC continues to provide our Army, but for you two warriors who've been going probably nonstop for the last 12 days, thanks for taking some time and showing me around it. I'm very, very reassured to know that uh, the regiment's on the right track to be able to continue and grow some of these decisive action skills back that we need. So, from, uh, from the Chief of Engineers, thanks for a job well done, Jeremy. Okay, Thank Joe, you, congratulations. You've you got sir. a couple more days to go, right? Yes, sir. Okay, Sean, outstanding job. Glad to be here. Thank so, you. from NTC, General Seminite on the road again, but a great example of how our regiment is leaning forward to be able to win at the National Training Center.